In a display of remarkable candor, Representative Eric Swalwell, Democrat California, has taken aim at the GOP stance on the bipartisan border bill, delivering a scathing reality check during a House Judiciary Committee markup meeting. With all the subtlety of a wrecking ball, he tore into Republicans opposing the bill, laying bare their true motivations, which, surprise surprise, revolve around their unwavering allegiance to the Trumpian echo chamber. Swalwell didn't mince words, highlighting that their resistance to the bill isn't about policy nuances but rather a blind devotion to Donald Trump, the man of the hour, and his laundry list of legal woes, 91 felony counts and counting. After all, what better way to butter up the judicial system than by pandering to the possibility of a Trump redux in the Oval Office? Talk about a Hail Mary play straight from the playbook of Make My Legal Troubles Disappear Again. The bill, which Senate Republicans predictably blocked last month, was seen by some as a glimmer of hope for President Joe Biden's administration ahead of the November election. Swalwell wasn't shy about calling out Republicans who seem more interested in scoring political points than, oh I don't know, actually solving problems. Meanwhile, Democrats, bless their souls, are apparently in the solutions business. Who knew? He even questioned whether these GOP folks had collectively misplaced their marbles, pointing out that even Senator James Lankford, Republican Oklahoma, a shining beacon of conservatism, had a hand in crafting the darn bill. But alas, it seems that the former president's laser-like focus is more on milking the issue for all its political worth than on, you know, actually fixing things. Priorities, right? And if that weren't enough, Swalwell had more ammunition up his sleeve, accusing maggot-aligned Republicans of shamelessly exploiting victims for political gain. While they point fingers and tweet up a storm about border problems, they conveniently forget to, I don't know, actually do something about them. But who needs action when you've got hot air and Twitter fingers? In a masterstroke of concise communication, Swalwell summed up his perspective in a single tweet, MAGA GOP doesn't want border changes, they want border chaos. Ouch. Talk about a mic drop moment. He even graciously walked them through their own Twitter tirades aimed at Border Patrol, highlighting the sheer absurdity and, dare I say, the insulting nature of their approach. Bravo, Congressman, bravo. The reason you oppose the bill is not because you have any policy issues with it. It addresses everything that you've been talking about for the last couple of years. Because all I have heard from any of you is noun, verb, order. Noun, verb, order. That's all you know. And then you get a border bill from the second most conservative member of the Senate. And let me tell you why you oppose it. You oppose it because Donald Trump opposes it. That's it. That is the simplest explanation. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is the correct one. Donald Trump opposes it because Donald Trump wants to be president, because Donald Trump has 91 felony counts that he's facing, and the only way that those go away and he is not held accountable is if he's president. And if the noun-verb border plan is no longer working and he can't use that as an issue, then he may not be president. So he says, I don't support this. I want the issue, not the solution. And so you all, God, I don't know what it feels like to be so helpless to have to follow somebody like Donald Trump. Follow Donald Trump. And it's fine. I get it. You must see yourselves as so very tiny and so very small when you look at Donald Trump. And he's so big that he looms so large over you that you would do anything that he says to support him. But that is the reality. This is not a policy dispute. Donald Trump wants the border issue. And so you're going to go along with Donald Trump. That's it. And it, Bill, again, which was called one of the harshest border bills in history, not by Democrats. It was Republicans who called this Senate border bill the toughest bill on the border ever. One of our colleagues just said that it created amnesty. No, I mean, that's part of why you heard us laughing. No, like it couldn't even be further from the truth. In fact, many Democrats were upset because it offered no legal pathways. It was all enforcement. The other thing that um, my colleague on the other side of the aisle said was the Senate bill failed because it was bad. They started criticizing it before the text was out, before the text was even published. And they did it because former President Donald Trump told them to. So they followed 
orders and they were loyalists because Donald Trump said, I want the problem, not a solution. And they said, okay, we're with you. And week after week, we hear lie after lie after 